Look at this. So when they used to come here as a kid, came here and wrote that. Probably brought him so much memories. But can you imagine during the winter, people used to go down these hills? I can't really imagine that anymore. They should like tie this up and skaters should just come here. Right. Man, this ski lodge must have been really chill. It's just left. Before we begin the adventure, I just want to say a big thank you to Trey Coffee for sponsoring this video. Do you struggle to find the perfect coffee at the grocery store? With Trade, you can discover new coffees from the nation's top roasters, while Trade matches you to your own personal selection of coffee and conveniently delivers it to your doorsteps. This is how it works and it's very simple. All you gotta do is take the quiz on their website and tell Trade how you like your coffee, and they will curate matches just for your personal tastes. You can then choose your delivery frequency and it will appear at your doorstep fresh from the roaster. You'll be able to rate your matches so Trey can continue to delight you with coffee you'll enjoy and love. Click the link below now to get 30% off your first bag when you sign up. Free shipping included. Alright, now let's get on with the adventure. How's it going everyone? Oh my gosh. I'm in this weird woods right now. We're heading to an abandoned ski resort. I don't know what's up with these tires. It looks like there's an obstacle course. <laughs> this is a good training for like Ninja Warrior. Anyway, for those new to the channel, I just want to say welcome to the Rowan Army. My name is Steve Rowan and we go on epic adventures every single week. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the notification button bell if you haven't yet. Danny. This is a pretty cool hike. I'm glad I wear my hiking Yeah, it's really wet. Oh, you're being sarcastic, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check for ticks after this. Oh, yeah. So here's the entrance now. This is so chill, guys. And that water looks clean. I might dip my foot in that later. Wow. Join here with the gang and a teddy bear. <laughs> Hot now, little bear. Yeah, I bet. We got the need for exploration. Yeah. <laughs> you guys probably remember them from the abandoned hospital that we did. If you have not, go check out that video. It was such an amazing explore as well. Gosh. But can you imagine during the winter people used to go down these hills? I can't really imagine that anymore. This abandoned ski lodge was opened in the 1980s, located in a small town known for skiing and snowboarding during the winter. The reason for its closure was due to not enough visitors, which was caused by a sudden lack of snow in the area since 2013. The owner then had to close the place down four years later in 2017, and since then has been claimed back by nature. Wow, the line would be right here too. Oh my gosh, there's so many wasps in there. By the way guys, I'm going to be showing off some new merch today. That's right, this is the first video showing off the new merch for the summer. We got tank tops, and we also have cotton mask right here. We got black and camo. Oh, what? That's sick. I probably don't like the graffiti on it. None of it's really good. Yeah, and uh, I'll give it a, a one star. One star graffiti. Who's well, Someone was riding their bike here. They just left the snowmobile here? Like that? Oh, no, it's 
You want the helmet? Oh, fuck. I thought that was a wasp. Nice. Oh my gosh, guys. No, it's a dead chipmunk. Wow, that water has like tadpoles in it. Ew, I think they're eating the chipmunk. Ugh. How did he even, how did tadpoles even get in here? Oh my gosh. I think this place is swarming with wasps. I think so. Is it mortar hornets? Yeah. It is July today. We've got a new thing coming. Reuse, make memories here that. What are you reading? Oh. <laughs> hey, a medal. 2000 Winter National Senior Games. How do you even get up there? Oh, dang, there's a lot of stuff written. <laughs> Ew, still food here. No, these are probably still good. Best of views. By May 21st, 2020, oh, we're past the date. And we got clam chowder. When do you think this place was abandoned? Um, I don't know, honestly. There's that... Someone signed it from 2016 up here. I feel like it wasn't that long ago. I see 12, uh, 2017 right there. Yeah, so it's gotta be pretty recently. Yeah. I mean, those peaches just expired <laughs> like two months ago. Yeah. Man. This ski lodge must have been really chill. But a lot of parties happening here. We're just, you know, having good times with friends and family. Now just everything's left to be forgotten. Nice. <laughs> Outfits. Chill here. Damn, it's hot in here. This must have been like a bedroom up here. But look, we got some writings from the past. This one's all in Spanish. 
Look, it's from 2009. just made it to the other side and this part of the area looks like they had zip lining and tubing here are the park rules you get your tickets right here nothing really inside it's a bunch of junk I'm seeing a lot of wasps here too I kind of hate exploring during the summer Boy, there's like a lot of cool things. We got a TV. That's a yeah, that's a stretcher. <laughs> Maybe this had like a. <laughs> yeah, it must have had like a a nurse room or something. More things here in this room. The yeah, like the spiders. Oh my gosh, they're huge. Is there two there? Yeah, but I think that one's dead. It's old snacks here. Comment down below what you would get. I'm kind of hungry right now. I think I would get like a hamburger, maybe some fries, some soda. Got to eat after this. We got the helmets. I think these were used for the zip line. Seriously worried about the wasps and nests. They like hide in the, the crevices. No, that was a fly. This is pretty cool. So this room must have been where people would just come and eat. Oh yeah, you would order your food right here. Oh, I see the zip lines. They're right over there. On to the third floor. some creepy art. Well that's it of this place. We have more buildings up ahead. You should just wear that to protect you from the coronavirus. <laughs> oh, it's so cool in here. Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, wow. Dang. Whoa. It's just left. I can't believe this. I 
leave a comment down below. Tell me what your skier type is, guys. Type 1 prefers slower speeds. Type 2 prefers a variety of speeds. Type 3 is the fast guy. I might be a type 1, but once I begin to pick up the pace, I'll probably be a type 3 if I learn how to ski. I'm not sure what these numbers mean, but they could be the prices. These are all their business cards. even more in here. <laughs> you can just tell no one's really been in here. I'm surprised you're almost done spelling your name or your Instagram handle. They got a lot of letters in there. Probably spell your name out of the That'd be dope. Well, imagine we just like put all our names here <laughs> for the <laughs> next explorer. <laughs> Yeah, I got my name on here. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh. We should each just get a window. Yeah, heck yeah. You got a cute? Cute. Mine was easy because my name's pretty short, but dang, you're just long and you got it. So yeah, these are all our nicknames or Instagram handles, so definitely check us out too. Link in description. There you go. Yes! <laughs> I've never felt so accomplished. <laughs>I'm really thirsty and then I would probably drink this water but it's Aquafina and Aquafina I would I would rather drink it's like equivalent to sewage water this Sabansky Resort probably goes out in May 2016 or at least around 2016 there's more photos of the teams that used to come here Jeez. Looks like I found the guy that used to work here. Could have been the owner too. Wow, we even got printers here.
Look at this. So when they used to come here as a kid, came here and wrote that. Probably brought him so much memories. I can just imagine. And look at this saying. That's so true. All right, Amber got her name down now too. Yeah. What about Brandon? Brandon's is on the window in there. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah, all of us got it. <laughs> but she's got to improvise because. Gotta make my final act. Yeah. <laughs> too many X's. For mine over there. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Looks like the second floor was maybe a mini bar or a little restaurant. I didn't go downstairs yet, but a lot of stuff is still left over here. Damn. So these were apartments that the people could stay in. Legit, everything is still left. I don't even want to open that refrigerator. Jeez, got a weapon here. I'm not gonna lie, it smells like throw up. Whoa. This bedroom is still pretty pristine. A homeless person can literally live in here. Room. Look at that, there's even clothes still left. But this room right here is pretty insane. This is creepy. This is really creepy. <laughs> Looking at this room, I don't even feel like I'm alone right now. Holy shit. Some more murder hornets. But look, there's an old camcorder right there. It's huge. Whoever used to live here had a baby. For people to come and eat. It's completely empty. This is making me really hungry right now. Oh, no way. We do other things in here, too. They had zip lining and zorbing and summer tubing. Check this out. Oh this thing is wiggling. Oh, this is the chillest spot. I think this would be my room. Random pots and plates. Oh, there's some mold here. There's a leakage. Oh my gosh, is there a TV in there? That would be crazy if there was. No, there's no TV. <laughs> Yo, whoever was staying here was chilling. You got hot chocolate and nachos. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is probably why the place closed down. They didn't have good Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> We're not getting signal out here at all. Pretty much explore the entire area. 
We're hungry. I'm starving. You know, I woke up super early, never got a chance to eat breakfast. It's currently almost like three in the afternoon. They should like tie this up and skaters should just come here. Right. All right, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed this adventure for today. Thank you so much for joining the premiere and I hope you guys tune in next time. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about this place. I for one thought it was amazing and unique. Never would have thought to find that abandoned skate park, let alone the stuff inside the ski lodge. Also, I just want to say thank you again to Trey Coffee for sponsoring this video. And a quick reminder, you guys, check out their coffee. Link down in the description. You can get 30% off your first bag purchase and free shipping included. And definitely check out the new adjustable cotton face masks. Dropped on my website, freedomxwater.com. Go and cop them. We also have summer tank tops. So yeah, until next time, guys, live a life of freedom and water, and I'll see you all next adventure. Peace.